Good afternoon, everybody. It's Shane here from Girlfriend's Guide to Network Marketing, coming to you a little bit later today. It's been kind of crazy around here. Still have kids home for the summer, so it's been a little busy, but um, we're still making it through. So welcome, everybody. If you're just joining me, I would love to hear who's here with me today and where you're from. And I'm just noticing a big hair up here <laughs> sticking up. <laughs> Oh my. Anyways, um, I wanted to just come on here tonight and talk to you guys about something that's really been blowing my mind lately. I've been reading this book called The Ten Times Rule by Grant Cardone and um, there's so much stuff that's speaking to me here and I've got so much content from it that I can't wait to share with you guys everything I'm learning through these videos. But the one thing that really stuck out to me um, and, and I'm noticing this a little bit in my own business and really trying to step it up is, you guys, average efforts give you average results and nobody wants to have average results, right? Like we all look at network marketing as an opportunity for us to have more, to be more, to do more, to have the dream life. We see the big vision, but sometimes we see these big visions and we have this like, you know, grandiose plan for ourselves because of our network marketing opportunity, but yet we're not willing to step up and do the amount of work and efforts that are required to have those things. Mostly I think because we're afraid, because it's, 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 you know, to put in that time and effort, we don't really know what we're gonna get out of it. It's scary to get out of our comfort zones. You know, we have, we get stuck in our head for sure about what people are gonna think and what that's gonna look like and all that kind of stuff, right? So um, we end up stopping ourselves and we do a little bit, but we don't really step up and do the amount of work that's, you know, that's required to have an above average uh, extraordinary life. You know, I talked about this in my last video, you know, the three things that we need to have to have find, you know, massive success in this business, which is commit, do things that other people won't do, which is, you know, step, stepping fear aside and moving forward regardless and not quitting. But we also have to really, you know, let like level up our efforts, right? If you look at all the top leaders in your network marketing industry and in your network marketing company, um, hi Serena, if you look at the leaders in your company, you know, what did they do to get where they are? I guarantee you they weren't average. I guarantee you that they gave up a lot of things in their life, like television, like sleep, like, um, you know, just, you know, time with family. They probably missed birthdays. They probably missed a lot of things in their life because they were giving an above average, you know, extraordinary amount of effort to achieve the goals that they've achieved. And, and, and one of the things I love about this business is that, you know, if you can do that short term, the gains that you can get from giving up things temporarily and going all in in your business and really just, you know, giving it all your efforts and everything you've got, the long term gains that you can get from that are residual and can last you way longer than the amount of time that you're giving up those things. So that short term pain for that long term, long term gain. And that's, that's the beauty of this industry, you guys, is that, you know, yes, it's hard. Yes, we have to give up, you know, stuff. Yes, we have to put in, like, you know, efforts and get out of our comfort zone. And we have to do all these things that are, that are, you know, maybe a little bit more difficult. They're simple things, but more difficult things that, you know, we're uncomfortable with. But if we can do those things and really like level up our activity and level up our efforts and really go on all into this business, for even a short period of time, like three months, six months, a year, you guys, the long-term benefits of that are just like extraordinary and so worth it and can last 10 times the amount of time that you had to put in to make that happen, right? So, you know, if you're looking at your business right now and you're thinking you're not where you wanna be, look at the effort that you've been applying to your business. And, and it does take some time. You got to plant seeds and sometimes things don't connect right away. So if you're, if you're looking at your effort over the last month and you've been going like gangbusters and you have been going all in and nothing's happening yet, you got to keep going. You just haven't done it long enough yet. But if you look at the last year and you think, yeah, you know, like I'm putting some time in, but you know, I never miss this show on TV and well, you know, I, I won't give up my, you know, soccer games every Thursday night for my business. And you know, I, you know, I work it like once, maybe once or twice a week. Like if you think about your efforts, if it's just average, you guys, you can't expect to have more than an average business. You can't, you just can't. You got to look at if you want a six figure um, a year or six figure a month business, you guys, you got to put the time in. You got to give up temporarily to be able to have those kinds of things. And you really got to look at what those leaders in your industry did to get there 
and you gotta you gotta you gotta do what they did you gotta you know put in the time and it's so worth it if you had somebody following you around every day looking at what you're doing in your business you know would you pay yourself six figures a year to do what you're doing every day in your business would you pay you to six figures a month to do what you're doing in your business are you putting in that type of effort into your business it doesn't mean it has to be an eight hour a day you know full-on effort but you got to be doing the right things in the time and you got to be doing them consistently in the time that you are putting into your business so if you only have an hour a day because you work full-time are you doing the right things in that hour and are you doing that hour every single day you know or are you doing that hour once a week or are you doing that hour when you feel like it so you know really looking at you know what it is that you want want out of your business if you want that six figure plus or more business a year or a month if you want five figures a month six figures a year any of those types of things in your business you guys you got to look at the effort you're putting into it because if you're not applying the effort if you're not doing you know the work and you think that it's gonna happen just because you're in network marketing it's not the case you know, when I look at my first year of my business, I had a four and a half week old baby at home. I had two other children and every hour that I had free, I was working on my business. I was working on connecting with somebody. I was learning the skills. I was practicing the scripts. I was figuring out who was I going to talk to next. I was obsessed with my goals, which was being able to retire and not have to go back to my full-time career in that short time I had while I was off on maternity leave. I became like, you know, crazy about my business and I put in that effort and I went like gangbusters and I had an above average, you know, effort level because I had a goal, I had something I wanted to accomplish and you know what? That served me. I was able to leave my job. I was able to get to six figures in a year and I was able to maintain that to this day, seven years later. And I still put that type of effort into my business, but I know, like, I know it, like, I know it, like, I know it. If you are not obsessed with getting to your goal, if you're not putting an above average effort into what it is you want out of your business, you guys, you may get there, you may get there, but I'll tell you right now, you won't maintain it because you got to go above and beyond what you think you need to do to get there, to be able to get there and stay there. Cause that's a big thing too. And Grant talks about that in his book is like, if you're, if your goal is to get here, you need to really make your goal like here because you might do the work to get to here, but you're not doing enough work to, to, to stay there, to maintain it. So you've got to go beyond that so that you're, you're doing, you're doing over and above where you want to be so that when you get there, it stays there. It's not going to just go start going backwards because maybe you, you know, you put in some effort, but not enough to really kind of blow past that and, and keep that and, you know, maintain that. I hope that makes sense. So I really just wanted to talk to you guys about this because I've been working with a group in my own team. Um, I've asked in my team, Hey, who wants to level up? Who wants to take this seriously? Who wants to really like, you know, make this business, you know, get to six figures, level up. What do you want to do? Like, let's do this together. And we're working with them and being really real with them about what it takes. You guys learning the skills, the practicing, putting in the time, missing things. And it's been eye opening for some of them. And I, and I love that, that, that they're seeing that, Hey, guess what? The, the effort I was putting in up until this point wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough to move me to the next place. And now they're seeing the light and they're starting to really take the effort and put the time in and really make some changes in their business and their mindset and what they're doing in their skills. Right? So, um, so I'm really excited to see that with them, but I want you to really take a look at your own business. How much more can you do? What more can you do? Can you level up your effort to get where you want to go faster? to get to that, that, that place in your, in your mind. Like I look at my vision board and I think, wow, Shana, if I really want all that stuff to happen, it's time to step up my game. It's time to really do more, push myself. Um, you know, one of the things I'm doing, you guys, is I am um, pushing myself to get up at 5.30 a.m. every day and give myself that extra hour. I was doing 6.30 and it's time to level up my game. It's time to get up at 5.30 because I have more work that I want to do. I need more time. I need more focused time to be able to, achieve what I want to achieve. So if I'm going to do that, I got to step up my game. So my alarm goes off at 5:30. It's in my bathroom. I got to get up out of bed at 5:30 and go shut that off. And while I'm up, I brush my teeth and I go downstairs and I'm at my I'm in my living room starting my gratitude journal at 5:30 a.m. If I'm going to do this and I'm going to level myself up, I got to I got to step up my activity. I got to step up what I'm doing. So the same goes for everything in this business, you know? And so um, so yeah, so, and I'm really excited because, 
Um, this leads me into, you know, chatting with you guys about the group coaching that starts, the Girlfriend's Guide group coaching that starts tomorrow. I'm excited to work with these ladies and really help them level up their business to really see what it takes to make it to a six figure a year or a month type of business, the kind of activity, the kind of skill sets you got to learn, all the different things that go on to going all into your business. And so that starts tomorrow. And we do still have room for a couple more. Um, if you are looking to level up your business and you want to work together in a group, you want to work with me, um, there's so much great stuff that we're going to be doing over a six week period. If you want more information about that, I will post a link below. Um, it does start tomorrow. So the cutoff is tomorrow. Um, we start at 9 PM Eastern standard time. So, um, you have until then to jump in on that. Um, and then it's go time and then it'll be January before we do another one. So I'm really excited to be working with these ladies and sharing, um, what it takes, you know, from my experiences, from what I've learned and for what I continue to learn every day about what it takes to get to um, that place in your business where you know just it's just whatever your goals are in your in your business because if you're not where you want to be you got to level up to get there and um, anyways that's my message for today my 5:30 a.m. mornings have made me a little tired this afternoon I have to say um, I, but it will level out I will get there it's gonna be great um, I love getting up at 5:30 I keep telling myself that every morning right um, it's all about mindset. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, what's today? Tuesday. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. I look forward to getting started with my girlfriends tomorrow night in the group coaching. We're going to have a lot of fun and um, yeah, it's just going to be good. I'm really excited to be able to help them grow and learn and, and figure out you know, how to get them from where they are to where they want to be. So if you want to be part of that, there's still time. I'll post the link below. Um, just fill out the application and we'll have a chat and see if it's a fit for you. So that's it for me, you guys. Thank you so much, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now, guys. Bye.